Hello all, and welcome to my second Roblox Studio Roblox game development video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make tool givers with a click, de click detector. Today I'm going to be making a speed coil giver and a sword giver. This is what they will look like. So starting off with a uh, basic faceplate, if we get rid of all this here. We're gonna start off by, for the rock, or for the stone in, uh, or the, for the sword in the stone, we're going to want to get a rock in here. You could use the one made, that's Roblox approved, and um, put it anywhere on the base plate. Then after that, in the rock, we're going to want to insert a click detector and a script. Then we're going to want to type in this script. Local tool names. Right here we're defining our variables. It's equal to sword. Or in this case you would put in whatever um, whatever tool you are going to be uh, distributing. And then you're going to define uh, the server storage to it, which is where you're going to be putting the tool for players to get. We're going to go local. Pardon my typing. Local part is equal to script that parent. Local click detector. is equal to part, wait for child, click detector. And now we're going to get into the actual scripting part of it. But before we get into this part, we're going to need to put the, uh, the tool that you're going to be distributing out in the server storage. So we're going to be getting a sword here from the toolbox. I'm going to be renaming it to sword. And then I'm going to put it into the server storage. I think I already have one here. Yes. So there's already one here. So you're gonna dr you would drag it down into server storage. Now that we have the sword there, we get back to scripting. So then we're going to put in click detector. Dot mouse click. Connect. Function. Oh. Okay. There we go. My bad. And then if player, oh, my bad, make sure to capitalize. If player, make sure to have player capitalized everywhere. Now we are uh, describing or creating the backpack variable of where we want the uh, tool to end up, which is the player's backpack. This is the part right here where we are defining the tool that we want to um, end up in the player's backpack. And if, if tool, then tool, and then this is the part where we clone it into their inventory. This, now when we go into the game, we test this out. When 
you click on the stone, a sword should come out. Now, if you want it to uh, look exactly how I did in the thumbnail, and you want to have the sword and the stone, you're going to want to get another sword out from the toolbox. Um, you can remove all of this. You could simply take the handle, put it in the workspace, and then delete the sword, the rest of the the rest of it, and then move the handle into the into the uh, stone, like this. Also in the thumbnail, um, above the stone, it said click here to, uh, to equip a sword. If you want to do that, you're going to want to make this handle here a group. And then under this group, you're going to want to rename handle, and you're going to want to rename it to head. And then inside the model, you're going to add a humanoid. This will put this little model symbol above it. Then, whatever you rename this model to is what will appear above it. So I'm, gonna, now I'm going to type in here, click to equip sword. And it is right above the stone, just like that. Now, onto the speed coil. We're going to be using the same script as we did for the, the uh, sword and the stone. Going to customize our giver to however we want it to be. In this case, I'm going to have it on a small uh, cylinder podium. Then we get a speed coil from the toolbox. And we're going to want to make sure to put one of these into the server storage. And I like to remove the space as it just makes it easier for me when I am scripting. And then we want another one to go on top of the cylinder. Once again, you can just take the handle put it into the workspace and delete the rest of the tool. Center it however you like. Just like that. Make sure to anchor it if you would if you want to. Make sure that all of your items are anchored so they don't fall out of place. And then we're going to click on the cylinder, add a click detector, and a script into it. And then we're going to copy and paste the same script that we had earlier. So we're going to take this, copy it, and we're going to paste it into here. This time, instead of sword, we're going to say speed coil. Make sure it matches up exactly to how it is worded. And then do the same thing if you want to with uh, the handle. Group it. Rename. Add in a humanoid. And rename. Now when we test this out, we will be able to equip a sword and a speed coil. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you would want me to uh, make more Roblox Studio tutorials like this one, comment below what you guys want me to do. Uh, thanks for watching.